It is Friday, and that means my favorite way, and hopefully your favorite way, to get to know your Atlas recruiter, the Atlas Med staff, often imitated, never duplicated, Five Question Friday. With me this week, recruiter Erica Bradford. Hi. Welcome. Thanks so much. So nice to be here. I, I mean, at my I desk. walk by your desk all the time, okay. so it's a fun place I'm, to be. I'm glad we can do this. Yeah. All right. So, you ready for this? I'm. I've been preparing. You watched every one of them, right? I mean, I don't want to say everyone, but I did stalk the YouTube for months before I was hired, so Good. I feel oh. prepared. So you're prepared. All right. Here we go. So, question number one. Who is Erica Bradford? He knew that was coming. I bet you did. All right, so I'm gonna say Erica Bradford is a lover of life. And I say that because I'm the friend that like you have this great idea and you wanna do something crazy or boring. Like, I don't care, I love it all. Like, you wanna go sit in a coffee shop and read a book? Cool. You wanna go like to an amusement park? I'm also down. So. Be like, hey, I wanna go to the Twin Cities this weekend. You wanna go? Yes, Hell that's yeah, me. I wanna yes, go. Yes, like that, that's my jam. Question number two, uh, you had told me when we were talking about recording this, you had told me that uh, you were gonna go swimming, mm -hmm. but then you didn't have to do your hair and makeup and all of that again, right? right? Okay, yeah. so is swimming part of your workout? Talk to me about that a little bit. Yeah, okay, so I grew up in California. We had a pool, and so I did a lot of swim lessons as a kid just for safety reasons. And then my daughter, who's nine, is actually on a swim team. And so I went and watched her swim and do all the things and they have a master's swim program for adults. Okay. And so I wanted to just check it out because I watched her work really hard. And what I figured out is I'm someone whose mind is constantly going. And when I'm in the pool, mostly because I think I'm gonna drown if I <laughs> think about anything other than breathing, I my brain just totally shuts off. So it's a really peaceful place because it's hard. It's a calming mechanism. Yes. Interesting. So I can just shut it off, which doesn't happen for me very often. So how long have you been doing this then? Um, about six months. All right. Is it a, do you get like a certification at the end or? So you just sign up with USA Swimming as a master's swimmer, and then you go to a master's swimming location, and then they give you a workout, and so you go. And so the last one I was at, it was like, I don't know, six, no, four 25s and two 50s, and they give you like a time cut, and then you make the time cut, and then you breathe for six seconds, and then you have to start over and do it again and again and again and again. This sounds very difficult. It's hard, but it also made me really appreciate how hard my daughter works because she's a very, very good swimmer, and I just think she's amazing, so. Awesome. Uh, question number three, your bio also says that you wanna write a book. Yeah. What kind of book would you write? Yeah, so. I have a couple different thoughts. In my former life, I was a teacher, and I have some funny teaching stories <laughs> that- um, Don't I, all teachers. I've kind of played around with like sharing just some fun things. Um, I've also just thought, I've traveled a lot of places, and so I thought it would be neat to do kind of just a snippet of all of the different places I've been and what we did there. And then I'm a lover of fiction, so I have all kinds of fiction stories in my head too. You could almost weave all of that into one book, right? I mean, Yeah, I'm cool. sure. Yes. Awesome. I look, I believe I've got a book in me still. I, I don't know. I'm you getting up there, do. so maybe, I don't know, who knows. Uh, I can't sit still long enough though to write it, unfortunately. We'll see. We'll Just see. stand up and write it. <laughs> Good call. All right, question number four. Who or what inspires you? I also predicted this one, and this one's hard because I feel like I kind of take a little bit from everybody I meet. I don't know, like I love people and I love getting to know people and different people's journey inspires me. I would say my grandparents moved here from the island of Malta a really long time ago. They're no longer living, but um, that was like a big thing to do in the 40s, like drop your whole life and go across an ocean and you have no idea what's gonna be there when you get right. there. So I th would say that story inspires me. My dad is a really hard worker and just like his life and what he's achieved in his life is really inspiring. Uh, my kids inspire me all the time. I, I don't know, I, there are so many people I could choose. <laughs> It, that's a tough question. It is. That, that is a really tough one, but no, those are good answers. Yeah, I can't imagine just you know packing up and leaving and going to a, a brand new country yeah. like that. That'd be that'd be amazing. Yeah. All right. Question number five: If you could go anywhere in the world, 
where would you go? Yes, okay, this one I have for sure. I have my whole life wanted to go to Greece. I know like everybody says that. Um, Greece is fairly close to Malta too, so I feel like I could get it like a twofer out of that deal. Oh, you totally could, um, yeah. But Mediterranean Sea, island, I don't know. That just sounds fantastic. And food, I like food. Beaches, yes. like it just, wine. Uh, yeah. All the things. There's so many good things there. Greece is a a very common answer, but I would I I would go there. I totally would too. Yeah. So awesome. And I've been a lot of places and that's one place I haven't been. So Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Well, Erica, thank you. Thanks so much. Welcome to the team. Thank uh you. give me the month and year you started with us. Yes. Surprise to all my nurses who are <laughs> working with me already, right? Okay, so June 2022. See, there you go. So at, at the time of recording, what does that mean? That means she has time. So we're gonna put all of her contact information right down here. Uh, it, it, if you if you wanna get in touch with someone that has those connections, used to be a teacher, probably has some pretty damn funny teacher stories. 100%. There yes. you go, right? Yep. Uh, Erica's for you, so, so there you go. Thanks so much, give me a call. There you go. We'll see you next week.